Blog Talk Radio. Always a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now between fear and love. just so many millions of tons of junk, unless it enhances the lives of men. Good evening, everybody. This is Drew, and uh, welcome to the July 9th, 2011 debut broadcast of the Zeitgeist Movement Southwest Florida Chapter Blog Talk Radio Show. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I am broadcasting out of Naples, Florida this evening, but we'll be covering all global, state, and local activities. Um, so you know this is a call-in show, so please feel free to call in at any time at 858-956-3200. That, again, is 858-956-3200. Uh, you can call in to participate in the conversation, promote any kind of local chapter activities that you have going on, um, ask questions about the movement, or just comment in general about any issues you have on your mind. Uh, for anyone who may be listening live, I want to make sure you knew there is a chat room on the uh, show page, and feel free to use that to discuss any thoughts that you have amongst yourselves. I'll do my best to keep an eye on any chats that come up, but I'm also kind of flying solo here, so if you have a question or some kind of update you'd like me to mention or answer, maybe put the word QUESTION or UPDATE in all caps so maybe it'll jump out at me, and uh, I'll do my best to address anything that comes up there. And for anybody who is listening on an archive show, uh, you can find our show page at blogtalkradio.com slash, the, I'm sorry, just slash Zeitgeist Movement SWFL. Again, blogtalkradio.com slash Zeitgeist Movement SWFL. You'll be able to find the live streams there and eventually archives of all the shows. Uh, at the present, I hope to do these shows every other Saturday at 1130, but we'll keep you posted if anything changes. So uh, this is our debut broadcast, so I just wanted to briefly go over what I hope this radio show can achieve. Uh, I hope this venue can serve as a hub of sorts as well as a promotional tool for local chapter members throughout the state of Florida to both communicate ideas with other chapter members as well as be able to promote any events in their area. Although this is technically a Southwest Florida chapter broadcast, as I mentioned, I'll be covering the entire state of Florida as much as I can with any events going on there as well as objectives and progresses from the global level. So the general outline for the shows are going to be to start with an update from the global site, then on to covering any state and local activities. Then, as time permits, we can get into general discussions on any of the multiple issues that face our society today, you know, along with any caller contributions or questions. So if anyone happens to call in at the very beginning of the show, please hold tight until we finish with all the global, state, local updates and then we will get to the phones. And if uh, you're listening to the live stream t tonight, I'm sure most of you are already familiar with the general objectives of the Zeitgeist Movement. But seeing as this is our first show, there may be some listeners who happen upon this as an archive podcast somewhere that uh, may not be fully aware of what the movement actually is. So I think I'm going to take just a minute or two to give a brief overview of the Zeitgeist Movement. So this is uh, no easy task to do briefly, so kind of a stay safe and not stray too far off the path, I'm going to go ahead and quote what Peter had to say, Peter Joseph had to say at the June town hall meeting they held in California. Uh, essentially, he described the move movement real briefly, something along these lines, that the Zeitgeist Movement is an organization that seeks to change the dominant intellectual, moral, and cultural climate of a time. In essence, the movement is interested in creating an emergent train of thought in a manner in which everyone can contribute, to, can contribute to and expand upon. We seek a new economic model based not on the movement of money and the dynamics associated with such a system, but rather on a truly objective scientific resource management allocation, strategically seeking to enable an equitable distribution of goods and services to meet the needs of the entire global population while ensuring maximum environmental sustainability over generational time. 
Uh, and might I add for clarity, these efforts are completely nonviolent in nature. Uh, naturally, there's a lot more that can be elaborated on, but in general, I think that gives you uh, somewhat of an idea of what the mindset of the Zeitgeist Movement is. So, um, this is a half-hour show. That's all that we have right now for a blog talk, so I'm going to start off here with a global update and mentioning some of the things that are going on at the global level in, in case some of you just, you know, haven't checked in there for a little while. Uh, of course, last month on June 6th, uh, the first webcast of the Zeitgeist Movement Town Hall meeting was held. It was live. Uh, it was a live webcast from uh, California. And the next one is going to be held on July 19th, and all this is being streamed live via Ustream. Uh, that broadcast should still be available and uh, be able to be viewed at the same URL, which is ustream.tv slash channel slash tzm dash town dash hall. And there you can see the new uh, town hall that's going to be happening on the 19th, as well as the one that happened on the 6th. And uh, as for that town hall on June 6th, it was, it was really interesting. There was a full house of right around 100 people at the venue, as well as anywhere from 1 to 200 viewers that were watching via the Ustream webcast. For those of you who missed it, you can check it out there. And you can also see it on our YouTube page. Uh, the state YouTube page, which we have up and running. We'll address that a little bit later. But you can see that in the Town Hall playlist, Zeitgeist Town Hall playlist, at youtube.com slash Zeitgeist Florida. They had numerous well-informed speakers there, and it was really great to see some new faces outside of Peter. Uh, and they were all speaking so eloquently and passionately about the issues at hand. Uh, of course, as always, Peter's introduction to the event was fantastic. It was very informative, and it was exciting to watch the beginning of this next phase of organization, exposure, and involvement. I strongly encourage any chapters that feel they can pull one of these town hall events together to do so. Um, you know, if you're interested in organizing one of these events, there's a lot of information on the global site about it, actually. There's a link there to the, uh, their town hall information and the general outlines and objectives that they kind of have been going by there. Um, and this really seems like a great place. You know, a lot of different chapters I've seen around the country are taking up this suggestion as uh, adopting this as a way to get greater public involvement on a more personal level. Um, also, on the global site, the New Zeitgeist Movement newsletter is available for download. And uh, I saw great improvements on the newsletter this issue. I thought it was really good. Um, by far the most well put together and informative newsletter yet. And I really think this is indicative of things starting to move in a bit more unified and focused direction. Uh, the global site is also due to have a makeover in the near future. It's going to have upgrades to both design and content as things naturally progress. <clears throat> and as for keeping track of the progress, those of you who do not listen to uh, the global blog talk radio show, I strongly suggest giving it a listen. The new revolving host, host format has been really great. Uh, McLeish has been doing some stuff, and just different people have been coming in and talking. Peter also had on, uh, as a guest, some, one of the gentlemen that was in Moving Forward, and it's just a really good show these days. Uh, last week's host was James Phillip, uh, Phillips, I believe, actually, of Zeitgeist Education, and he gave a great show speaking about the education in general of you know, people just educated via the schools as well as getting education of the Zeitgeist Movement. And what he's trying to accomplish is he's getting together programs where they actually go into the schools to give lectures uh, and speak directly to the students. So I think if anybody has the means to do that, if you're a teacher or have, you know, associations with a teacher, to, to give that a look and see if that's something that you'd be interested in doing. And uh, you can keep track of of his progress there at tzmeducation.org. And uh, really interesting stuff that he has going on there. And something else that he, you know, uh, that he was promoting is just getting out information on the movement in general by dropping off business cards, flyers, at all the different events you do, and even at gas stations, bookstores, you name it, coffee shops. And uh, I, for one, I'm a graphic designer by trade. So I'd be more than happy to design up any business cards or flyers or things like that. If you guys would like to keep that in your pockets and just kind of lay them around as you go, I am open to hand out graphics by the dozen for things like that. Can't really cover the printing right now. I may be able to get some business cards printed up, actually, and mail them out to those of you, you know, a couple hundred at a time as you need them and see if we can get 
just some more people checking out some of the different sites that we have going and seeing what's going on on a local level here in Florida because there's lots of zeitgeist national stuff, but I think it's encouraging for local members to see movement on their local level, a place where they can go in, you know, check out the website. They can see, oh, okay, we got a we got a chapter meeting going here. You know, here's a project somebody else has going there, and really kind of keeps them involved and want to come back and check out what what more is going on. Um, also, let's see. At the, moving on with the finishing up here on the global level, there's links on the global site to the Zeitgeist Media Festival org. That's always, uh, you know, kind of doing their thing. That's getting ready to go, and it looks like it's getting to be bigger and bigger as time goes by. So I definitely keep an eye on that. And anybody who's going to have the means to go out to California, wow, check that out. That's going to be exciting. Uh, it would be nice if we could even do something on a local level in Florida to complement it at the same time. I do have a band that I play in, and I'm open to, to playing there. You know, so if anybody has anything going together, I can get some music going um, at PA system and all that kind of jazz. So the Zeitgeist Media Festival is something that you should all look into. Um, also, if for those of you who hasn't heard about Zeit News, I'm sure most of you have, but those who haven't, you've got to check out Zeit News. Zeitnews.org is just fantastic. It's all on the uh, the other end. There's the awareness movement that goes on with the Zeitgeist movement proper, per se, and stuff that Peter Joseph and all of us are trying to do. But Zeit News just kind of helps with the answer for people who say, what do we do? This is all on technological advancements, and it's one of the one of the most exciting things that I've seen develop out of the Zeitgeist movement in a little while. It's proven to be a fantastic site, and it really helps to prove to people that the concepts that the Zeitgeist movement endorse are, in fact, achievable. So everybody check out Zeit News and get that on your Twitter feed and everything else. Um, Let's see, can I make a note on Facebook with all these links? Yeah, I sure can. I did throw one up earlier, and I tried to do the, the blast out of blog talk to Facebook. For some reason, that didn't work the first time out. But I'll make sure to, to keep on Facebook and let everybody know, both on the state uh, site as well as the different local chapter sites I'm starting to find out about. So I'll make sure I keep that posted there. And everybody feel free to give me some information. You know, email me anytime. Uh, you can find me on Facebook or through the different group sites, but my email is zmswfl at gmail.com. That's zmswfl for Zeitgeist Movement Southwest Florida. And uh, I'll make sure to, you know, to do a little promo on your local events here. I wonder if that's what the whole point is, to get the words out. So kind of speaking of the combination of Zeit News and the local information, let's go ahead and move on to some of the state and local information. And uh, there seems to have been pretty good turnout at the last couple of weekly TeamSpeak meetings over the last couple of weeks. Last Wednesday, Douglas from Zeit News actually dropped in, and it was great to hear him speak and converse with those of us in the room. He, uh, he did a great job of answering questions you know, uh, and concerns that some people had, and it was really inspiring to hear of how things were moving on such a great pace up at the global level. And also to hear how, you know, just reendorsing re how it's a wonderful time for everybody to really get things together and moving on the state and local level. You know, it will really complement what the global people have going on, and it's just all the more, I think, excitement that will be made. I see on the uh, group site, uh, tzmfl.groupsite.com, that people are joining, you know, basically every week. There's always somebody joining there. So I'd really like to give a facet for them to see easily all the different chapters that's going on, you know, and sometimes you got to look a little bit harder to really get down to the nuggets of information that inspire people. So that's part and parcel of what this show's for. Hopefully people can find it on some random podcasts and downloads and say, oh, hey, look, there's, just keep track of what's going on there and be able to point everybody to the YouTube pages and to the Facebook pages and make sure everybody's communicating. And that, I think, is a wonderful place for TeamSpeak as well. And getting back to that, not only was Doug there, you know, last Wednesday, but we also had somebody from out of the country stop in to see how things were going in Florida. The week before, there was a California chapter member that stopped in, and uh, it was encouraging to see the interest from not just Florida, but from other parts of the country and, indeed, the world as well. So I really hope that everybody who can can start attending these TeamSpeak meetings, their weekly statewide TeamSpeak meetings. Uh, they happen every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. So it's on the TeamSpeak server, and anyone who doesn't have TeamSpeak install, installed, you can do so. Very easy. It's a quick download at TeamSpeak.com and a quick Google search for Zeitgeist TeamSpeak server info on Google, 
and uh, you'll have everything you need to participate in the conversation.